हेलो हाय नमस्ते दिस इज रुभी आई एम अ टीचर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एट वेदांतु वेलकम टू दिस सेशन सो यू ऑलरेडी नो व्हाट इज ए टू जी केमिस्ट्री राइट द सीरीज यस आई एम श्योर यू ऑल आर वेरी एक्साइटेड टू लर्न अबाउट द फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव वोटेड फॉर फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड यस इट इज हियर वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री so it is true that we will be covering the concepts of 11th and 12th chemistry too but there should be a beginning right the first step has to be the basics um hence we have decided to start from the beginning because having this connectivity and continuity is very important in the videos uh, so we are starting from the basics what is matter and its classification you might be thinking because i have taught you this in uh, for 9th cbsc and in the foundation series as well but still So as I told you, having this connectivity is very, very important so that when students are watching, they should be able to understand from where we are going, where we have started from, right? Okay then. With that note, let's get started. I hope you guys are doing good. Yes. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends because physical chemistry is going to be more interesting now. Okay. So what does matter? Everyone knows, right? Hmm. anything which has mass and occupies space is called matter example my water bottle my phone air uh, water juice and there are there is two type of classification okay one is physical and the other one is chemical classification based on the arrangements of arrangement of the particles in the matter you have generally three states of matter solids liquids and gases of course there is another two plasma and bec but generally we will only talk of three solids liquids and gases so solids may it has definite shape a uh, fixed volume a uh, very high force of attraction between the particles it is rigid cannot be compressed these are the properties which we know and when it comes to the liquids so liquids and gases they do not have definite shape but liquids it has definite volume and the force of attraction between the particles is comparatively low in case of liquid and they are fluids they are not rigid they can be thoda sa compressed yes so this is we know about this is something we know about liquids and now the last one is gases as i told you the force of attraction between the particles will be negligible in case of gases right so uh, it occupies the volume of the container it takes up the shape of the container it can be highly compressed and uh, it is a fluid so these are the properties or characteristics of the states of matter so as i told you like i'll just keep it very brief and crisp so that you know you can also like okay okay we know this but for all the new students who are watching this i hope you will understand the difference what are the difference in the properties of states of matter or the under classification that is homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture these three states of matter are interconvertible by changing the temperature and pressure so that is we already know right when you take out the ice cubes from the refrigerator it starts melting because the temperature difference between in the refrigerator and in the surrounding right it will be obviously here it will be more so because of increase in temperature there will be change in state of matter that is solid to liquid and if you continue heating it once this is for water once the temperature reaches 100 degree the temperature becomes constant and the water is getting converted into vapors hai na yes so before we talk about another kind of classification so it is important to learn something about a platform too because nowadays you know right because of the pandemic it is very difficult for us to attend offline most of the places it has been closed it has been shut down but we have to make sure that a uh, learning does not stop every student is receiving the high quality education so i'm sure you all are learning from the youtube channels we have been on the 9th and 10th or any other platforms as such but if you compare the youtube and vedantu platform there are few advantages if you are a pro subscriber so what is that you can attend unlimited live classes you can learn all the subjects and you will have an option of choosing the master teacher choosing the schedule choosing the language you want to learn in 
if you couldn't attend the session because of certain reasons you can watch the replay you can get the notes you can play the quiz on be on the leaderboard which is not possible here i guess because once the session is done the video is available but you won't be able to play mentally mm, right so after every session you will get the notes and uh, assignments will be shared with you topic based chapter based and tests will be conducted regularly which is very important i strongly believe that tests and assignments are the ones which will help you to practice and master a subject or a topic so if you are a pro subscriber aapko kuch to milna chahiye yes so you will get free unlimited micro courses and crash courses for boards and competitive examinations so if you are a pro subscriber there will be lots of micro courses to choose from nowadays we have started with such nice initiatives we have we nurture where we want to focus on your like you know personality skills or maybe you know so there are certain areas where you can improve yourself by attending these sessions you can enroll into any of them less is more how 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 because you as you are watching my video so we will be getting some extra discount so if you see here so there are three different kinds of pro courses we have pro light pro classic pro plus so you will be getting 10% off and you can try it for one month as well so what you can do is you can try all these for one month and if you like it if you are satisfied you can go ahead and get the complete course so what is the difference if you ask so here live interactive classes to sub plan mein milega test series and analysis yes notes and study material yes doubt solving in class doubt solving yes because you'll have class teachers master teacher but doubt solving on mobile app will be unlimited for classic and pro plus students and the pro plus students will get a personal teacher so if you are confused on which one should i take so you can just try for one month because there is no much difference and then you can choose the right plan for you ha apply coupon see so pro you will be getting some nice offer all well so because unlimited micro courses will be there so we are starting with the new batches for icsc maharashtra and jee neat as well so we have told already told you about the exams done you know about the exams now it is the time to start preparing for them as well so make sure to visit the link which is given in the description and there's a pinned comment you can use the coupon code s u r p i r o thank you thank you now what were we talking about matter mm, this also matters ha huh? huh. chal so i told you about the physical classification now is there any other way where we can classify the matter yes that is on the basis of its composition so what is matter made of it is made of particles which are too small hai na this is something we know so what kind of matter so there are substances which contains only one type of constituent there will be other different kinds of substances which is a combination of two or more substances that is elements or compounds in any proportion so based on its composition we have two types that is one is pure substance the other one is mixture so pure substance may you know you will find elements all the elements are pure right if i give you a piece of iron metal if i ask you to break it down physically or chemically what will you end up getting iron atoms only it is again iron so they cannot be broken down into simpler substances because it does not exist it is made of one type of substance one type of particles right and compounds mean you might be wondering carbon dioxide ma'am it has carbon and oxygen why is it still a pure substance because when there is formation of carbon dioxide there is chemical combination right so carbon and oxygen ke beech mein there is some kind of interaction we have not not just physically mixed them right so that is the reason even the compounds like co2 ch4 nacl all these come under pure substances so next is mixtures 
tea, lemonade, sugar in water, salt in water, ink water. All these are mixtures because I'm not saying, okay, you have to combine water and salt in the ratio 1 is to 8. It can be mixed in any ratio. Even though the chefs and all that, they use this ratio in proportion. That is to make sure that the dish tastes very well, right? It, if it, it is fine to alter the ratios as well. But in case of pure substances, the compounds, it is not possible. Hey na? So hydrogen is to oxygen. It has to be in the ratio 1 is to 8. Otherwise, water cannot be formed. Carbon dioxide has to be in the ratio 3 is to 8. So this is the major difference between mixtures and pure substances. Their composition is variable and the identity of the components is retained. That is when you are having orange juice, you can taste orange and the sour taste of orange and the sweetness of sugar because it's just a mixture. But when I'm talking about carbon dioxide, Carbon's property is different. Oxygen has its own set of properties, but they, when they are combining to form carbon dioxide, this new substance will have different set of properties. So this is what is the difference between pure substance and mixture. So again in mixture, we have homogeneous and heterogeneous. So what is this? In simple words, homogeneous is uniform. What will be uniform? The composition will be uniform. Heterogeneous may the composition will be non-uniform. Mm. So uniform composition in case of homogeneous, non-uniform composition in case of heterogeneous mixtures. So for example, what is an example of uniform composition? Now, what do you mean by uniform? What where there is uniformity? When you add sugar to water okay i'm adding sugar these are sugar crystal tiny teeny crystals i don't know why i'm writing smileys there so they dissolve they distribute themselves in the entire bulk of water such that at the top or in the middle layer or bottom layer may their concentration will be same when you drink tea right the first step sip and the last sip tastes the same because the sugar has been distributed or the milk has been distributed in that way. That is, there is homogeneity, there is uniformity. So homogeneous mixtures, they are also called as solution. In case of heterogeneous, what is the difference? There will be non-uniform composition. That is the major difference. For example, mud water, or uh, chalk powder in water, oil in water, there are all these are examples of heterogeneous mixtures. So important rule, the other one is, okay, you have mixed, I have mixed oil and water, I have mixed uh, ink and water. Now, how do I separate the components? So mixtures can be separated using the physical separation techniques like um, centrifugation or the distillation, fractional distillation, separating funnel, right? So in, when it comes to the pure substances, they cannot be separated by physical methods. I'll give you water. Can you give me hydrogen and oxygen? Can you separate the components of water by these physical methods? No. They can be separated by either uh, chemical or electrochemical methods. So this is the major difference between mixture and pure substances. So we already know about elements and compounds. So I have told you everything. Hana? So you do you want some examples of elements? Huh? First 30 elements you should know, right? So uh, I guess we have covered everything. See, ho gaya. This is it. This is the basics which you have to know so that we can learn about, you know, there are, if you go through the syllabus of 11th standard, there is, nobody will teach you what is matter. Hai na? 
so it is very important for us to start from the beginning so that we do not we won't be having a lot of doubts when we are trying to understand these complex or complicated not complicated all the time but those topics which you have not studied before so here is your homework to do at home yes from now homework ha fir se okay let me know in the comment section so who is the father of modern chemistry elements which are liquid at room temperature two examples of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture which was not covered in today's session so for all the new students as you have already know now this elementary chemistry is not only for 9th and 10th students students from 6th grade to till 12th they can learn from this channel so for that for all those Sixth and seventh students, if you are watching this video, I hope you have understood what does matter and its classification. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if you want to take up the pro subscription, just a reminder. Um, the link is in the description to take get the subscription. Please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any queries, doubts, you can reach out to me at srabi.r. at the rate vedanta.com please take care i'll see you soon with some amazing another interesting session keep loving chemistry elementary chemistry by vedanta take care stay home stay safe bye bye